Yo, what's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with another unboxing. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my latest pickup, which is the new Yeezy 350. I believe they're called the Ash Pearl or the Ash Stone, something like that. Um, I'll put the name of them up here. Um, yeah, I bought them and I don't really know the name. Uh, there's just so many pairs now that I like kind of just go for them every time because you can always make a little bit of profit. Um, I do believe these are sitting right around 270 Um but uh, I think I could probably get around 300 to the right buyer just because it's worth that much if you buy it on StockX or go, like I say every single video, um, all the fees and stuff are going to be super expensive. So uh, it's worth buying it off of like me for a little bit more. So yeah, let's get right into this. Um, there is a Danny Duncan mystery box on the way. Um, also a sneaker flea mystery box and I did just buy another sneaker flea mystery box that should be here in about a month and a half. But uh, yeah. So Sneaker Flea Mystery Box should be here soon. Um, that one was a $200 box, so pretty dope video coming soon. Um, yeah. Um, I also might do a Blender's eyewear review, so let me know if you guys would want to see like a review of those sunglasses, and uh, I'll definitely make that happen. So uh, let's get right into this. Thank you guys for watching. Let's do it. All right, Joe. So I just got this box open. Um, as always, classic. 350 box boom bang uh, these are a size 10 and a half um, I do know the person I'm selling these to already uh, I'm pretty sure at least that I know who I'm selling these to so yeah you guys can see 350 you can see the tag right there hopefully it focuses enough and then you can see easy 350 um, yeah so let's get right into this these are the ash pearl I believe um, so yeah, these are super dope colorway. I actually do like these a lot. Um, if I got these in my size, I would have been tempted to wear these. I'm a true size 10, so I wouldn't really want to wear these and have them be a little bit big on me. Uh, wear this one. Oh, there it is. So somehow this got caught up in there. Um, this is the new thing that Yeezy is doing. They're sending like a little uh, thing with them now. Um, they didn't always do that. I'm not really sure how long they've been doing that for. As you guys can see, box is empty. Uh, they don't send you anything special. So yeah, here they are. Um, super dope colorway, honestly. Um, I feel just like any other Yeezy. Um, I did notice that they didn't do the little uh, like clip thing here. Um, I don't know if I have a shoe like that. I, I'm not sure if the Isra Fields are like that or not. Um, I'm not going to check, but uh, if they are, then cool. If they're not, then cool, I guess. But yeah, I like it better with the laces like this, because when I do... I lace my Yeezys up like this. Um, my girlfriend, on the other hand, she does it like she likes the uh, little thing, the little connector piece, so that she doesn't have to tie them. But I like the like loose look on Yeezys, anyways. But yeah, as you guys can see here, super dope colorway. I'm um, sorry if I'm like super close and personal. Um, they did start coming with this like newer tag. It used to be the plastic. Um, now it's the uh, like paper. So they're going more like eco-friendly I guess um, this tags new I'm pretty sure pretty sure it just used to be this tag with the um, like plastic ring and I'm pretty sure it's uh, all different now but uh, yeah you guys can see these almost have like a purple brownish look to them the laces um, not sure if you guys can see but also just the white the white sole looks super sick um, just does get dirty very quickly um, you guys can see this is like almost like a purple um, super dope. It's like the purple knitted into the brown. Honestly, a super, super clean Yeezy. It does really look like some of the other pairs, but they always do. And um, they're honestly all fire colorways. It's just that the people want something different. But of course, you know, Kanye just keeps putting out the same shit over and over again. But uh, so yeah, it's like almost like an orange here. You guys can see, hopefully. Um, hopefully, it's like focused enough right now. You guys can see it's kind of like an orange. And then this side is kind of like a purple. And then these laces don't even match any of the colors on here. So it kind of makes them stick out a little bit. Maybe a tiny little bit of stitching is this color. But uh, yeah, they, they, they're they honestly clean. Like, I, I do really like these. Um, they kind of remind me of the... Um... I think it's uh... I think it was uh... I don't even know what the colorway is called just because of how many pairs there are. But um, they remind me of another Yeezy, of course they do, they remind me, they all remind me of the same, the same thing because all the colorways are the same now. 
essentially. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a shoe I'd wear. Um, by honest predictions, if you guys are buying this to sell, that's why you're uh, watching this video because you hit on them. You're wondering, should I sell them right away? Should I hold them? Um, honestly, if I was you, I would hold them for about a year. Um, that'll give you the most profit. They'll probably be up to about 360 by the end of a full year. Um, if you want to keep holding them, they'll probably only go up from there. Um, but if you do the quick sell, I think you could probably get 280 to 300 for these right now, depending on the size. These are a size 10 and a half, and I believe I'm selling them to my friend for 300, maybe, maybe I think 300, which is honestly a fair price. Actually, I think I might do 280 for him, but that's honestly a very fair price. Um, after everything, this comes to about like 260 when you buy them, 240, 250, something like that. Um, which, which honestly isn't bad um, for a Yeezy. I mean, a anytime you hit on a Yeezy, it's kind of like a good feeling. But uh, yeah, so I got these here. Sorry, I kind of rambled on a little bit. I wanted to stretch this video out a little bit, kind of tell you guys my resale predictions. Um, but yeah, I would say probably hold these for a year if you're looking for the biggest return. If you're looking for a quick little flip, you could sell them right now for probably around 280 to 300 to the right buyer. Don't sell them on Go or StockX because you're gonna end up losing money. Um, I would say try to find maybe Facebook Marketplace you could sell them um, if you don't know anybody. Like I have people texting me for shit and uh, I don't know if you guys do but yeah. So uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Let's get to the outro. Thank you guys for sticking around. Let's do it. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. You are a real one. Um, Basically at the end of these videos I kind of tell you guys like what's coming up So if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do have mystery boxes coming up uh, As always I'll have a thread beast box next month. Uh, so sometime mid-April. I'll have a thread beast box um, I have a Danny Duncan mystery box that should be here in about a week um, I also have a two sneaker flea mystery boxes on the way um, I also just cop stuff from the last supreme week So I'm gonna do a haul video on that as well. So make sure you guys are tuned for that Disgusting all right, chill. So that's really it for the video. Um, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. If you don't want to, you do you, I guess. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, share. As always, stay hype. Peace.